Hello and uh, we're now looking at uh, question number 7 uh, part B in the uh, January 2010 BY1 paper. Uh, this uh, part B question then uh, is looking at the uh, structure and function of lipids uh, in plants uh, and animals. Okay, uh, so you do have to discuss uh, some uh, functions in plants uh, to get full marks as well as uh, animals. Okay, uh, so in this uh, in this type of question now, you uh, you obviously have to know the uh, structure of uh, lipids. Okay, uh, remember that they're made up of uh, fatty acids. Okay, with uh, a glycerol. Okay, so you've got three fatty acids uh, to one glycerol. Um, you can talk about um, the different types of uh, fatty acids because there's uh, saturated fatty acids. There's unsaturated fatty acids. Uh, all of those are important structural uh, features uh, of lipids. Okay, uh, you could even uh, talk about phospholipids, of course, because uh, the uh, the addition of a phosphate group instead of uh, a fatty acid uh, can uh, can turn a lipid into a phospholipid. Okay. Uh, so you can talk about the structure of uh, phospholipids and, of course, their functions, which are involved in membrane um, uh, development. Um, so there's quite a fair bit you can talk about on the uh, uh, the structure of lipids um, and, and their functions, of course. Um, I think, again, as I've said many, many times in these videos, if you can commit um, facts uh, to memory, uh, you can often get many marks for regurgitating the appropriate facts in uh, in these questions. Uh, so functions of of lipids, of course, are uh, energy storage uh, molecules. Uh, that's a good one to talk about in terms of, of plants because the examiner does like you to know that seeds um, have lipids as an energy storage, and and you need to know why they are. Uh, used in seeds for energy storage and and the, and the the key uh, idea is that a, a lipid um, has twice the amount of energy for the same mass as a carbohydrate uh, that's certainly a, a fact you should commit to memory i've i've put it in the notes um, that are in the app uh, as well um, so uh, basically th that's why lipids are stored in seeds seeds are very small there's limited space in there so if you can store uh, lipid in there uh, then you can have have a lot more energy uh, for a given mass of, of lipid okay uh, there's also a, a, an insulation function uh, you've got to be careful here because there's two types of insulation there's um, electrical insulation uh, where your neurons your nerve cells are insulated with a myelin sheath uh, which is a, a fatty like substance um, and of course then there's sort of thermal or heat insulation where you have fat just under the uh, the skin layer um, known as the adipose tissue and that can act, act as a heat insulator uh, in animals uh, like humans and uh, uh, aquatic animals uh, as well um, uh, the other functions, of course, are protection of body organs, such as the heart, the kidney, okay, uh, buoyancy uh, of aquatic animals, it keeps our animals buoyant in the water, okay. Um, so, so there's a fair amount uh, to be uh, to be talked about in this uh, in this question. Uh, what I'd like to do is just uh, bring up uh, the notes that I've put in the uh, in the app, just to remind you of the. Uh, the structures of uh, here is glycerol. Now uh, you, you, you'd be okay to draw these structures out in this essay if uh, if you're able to, uh, but please remember you've got to fully label it. Okay, you can't just draw diagrams or structures of molecules without giving any any labeling or description of them. Uh, so that's the the glycerol molecule there. Uh, moving down, these are the uh, the fatty acids. Okay, so remember it's got a carboxylic acid group and a long hydrocarbon chain, of course. And uh, uh, you can often uh, abbreviate a fatty acid to that kind of uh, abbreviation where the R 
represents the long hydrocarbon chain. Okay. A little bit more on uh, fatty acids. Uh, looking at these diagrams, this is where I've shown uh, the saturation, uh, or sorry, the saturated fatty acids and the unsaturated uh, fatty acids. Okay, just remember that a saturated fatty acid has no double bonds in it, as you can see there. Uh, but an unsaturated fatty acid has at least one double bond. Okay, uh, so that's something you can bring out in this uh, essay on uh, the structure of lipids. Uh, if we just move on down a little bit more, this is uh, a good page here. Uh, this is again something that you can talk about in the essay, which is the formation um, of a lipid. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the glycerol uh, molecule, and here we have our three fatty acids, and they're joining on then to the glycerol uh, via a condensation reaction. Okay, that's something important to bring out in this essay. Um, you get three water molecules being released, of course, and there you have your uh, uh, lipid. Um, where your three fatty acids are chemically joined to the um, glycerol and of course mention the bond. Always remember to mention bonds in any bi biological molecule question and essay. Okay, um, so let's just have a quick look at uh, some simpler diagrams. Uh, these are just basic structures now of a uh, um, lipid or triglyceride, as they're also known. Uh, I've just used rectangles, really, to uh, uh, represent the, the glycerol and the uh, fatty acids there. Okay. Um, if we look now, this is the um, uh, functions of fats here. I've just got uh, four... Um, functions of fats listed okay and here's the important statement there about fats have twice the amount of energy for the same mass as carbohydrate all right so that's something that uh, is very important uh, to remember okay so uh, that's just uh, highlighting some aspects of the um, um, notes that I've written for the app so uh, I'll type out an essay uh, and an answer and uh, we'll have a chat through it. Okay, uh, I've entered uh, the the answer now on the structure and function of lipids in plants and animals. Uh, what I've done is, um, I think it's always good to structure these uh, these essays well. Uh, so I thought the best way to start was actually to talk about the structure uh, of the lipids uh, and indeed the phospholipids as well. Uh, so I've done that by talking about uh, the glycerol molecule um being joined uh, to three fatty acids okay i've then talked about the condensation reaction with the release of three water molecules um that's one water molecule per fatty acid of course there's the ester bond i've mentioned okay because that's part of the structure of the uh, of the lipid okay um, then I thought it was good then to talk about the saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. I've said that a satur saturated fatty has acid has no double bonds between the carbons of the hydrocarbon chain. Okay, that's important to remember. These double bonds or single bonds are formed between the carbons of the hydrocarbon chain. Okay, so an unsaturated fatty acid then has at least one double bond between the carbons of the hydrocarbon chain. Okay. Um, moving on. Um, we have then the uh, phospholipids. Okay. So I've talked about the uh, the structure of the phospholipids um, first. Okay. And I've told you that the uh, one fatty acid. Okay has been replaced by a phosphate group and that then will give you a, uh, a phospholipid. I've then said about its function that it's a component of the cell membrane uh, where they form a phospholipid bilayer. 
and for good measure I thought I'd mention that phospholipids control the entry and exit of substances from the cell. In particular, they prevent diffusion of polar and ionic uh, substances. Okay. Um, again, just, just to try and get as many marks as possible, I've then stated that lipids are also called triglycerides. Triglycerides because you've got three fatty acids uh, joined to each glycerol. Okay, uh, so lipids then um, have many functions. So pretty much the rest of the essay now uh, is looking at the functions of uh, uh, lipids. Okay, so um, I've mentioned the protection there and I've given an example such as the heart and the kidney. I've mentioned the electrical insulator in neurons by being a component of the myelin sheath and then the heat insulator uh, by forming subcutaneous fat under the skin. Uh, so that's a, a term I haven't mentioned so far. Uh, subcutaneous fat is just another name for the adipose tissue. It's the layer of fat uh, under the skin. Sub meaning under and uh, cutaneous meaning under the skin. Okay. Uh, lipids act as, act as a, a storage. Okay. Um, Get the R out of there. Acts as a storage of energy, okay, in both plants and animals. And here's the uh, uh, the key term here. Uh, lipids have twice the amount of energy, okay, for the same mass as carbohydrate, okay. This makes them a good energy storage molecule in seeds due to the limited space available to store energy, and also helps make the seeds lighter okay seeds need to be dispersed and travel um, so the lighter they are the better um, another function of lipids now in, in plants I've mentioned the uh, waxy cuticle um, on the uh, on the leaf uh, to reduce water loss and uh, lastly I've said aquatic animals also use fat to keep them um, buoyant okay um, so that's the uh, the essay I've written on the structure and function of fats. So let's just have a quick look at the mark scheme. Um, I think really the only thing um, I've missed out uh, in the essay is to mention uh, marking point I that uh, fats consist of the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Okay so uh, just remember to put that one in. Talked about the insulation, protection, buoyancy, um, and uh, I've also mentioned the uh, myelin sheath down the bottom there. And uh, uh, also I've mentioned the, uh, uh, the phosphate group being present in uh, phospholipids. Okay, so um, not a bad essay, I think, again, as long as you uh, have gone over your notes and read everything, uh, that shouldn't have been too much of a, of a problem.